Upper Heavens on the Go, Saturday, June 15th, 2024. Topic The Anointing is in Degrees. Memory Verse, Psalm 89 20. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. Bible reading Matthew 17 14 to 21. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and so vexed. For oft times he falleth into the fire, and oft into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil. And he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall move, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. The Message Just like electricity voltages differ, anointing levels also differ. When you are exposed to some voltages of electricity, you will only get a mild shock. However, being exposed to higher voltages can be fatal. You must be ready to pay the price if you want to operate in higher levels of the anointing. Many years ago, we were at a crusade ground and had been conducting deliverance on one fellow for hours. When the demon wasn't leaving, we had to call my father in the Lord, Pa Josiah Akindayomi, from his prayer room. He came out, commanded the demon to leave in the name of Jesus, and the demon left. I was shocked. I thought I was anointed. But then, I saw another level of the anointing. I became determined to grow in the anointing. Some years after that, we were holding a crusade and while the Bible study was going on, I went around making sure everything was going well. At a point, I saw some brethren rolling up their sleeves to cast a demon out of a boy. They saw me and said, Senior bro is here. Let him join us. I told them that I will pray with them on one condition, that they will allow me to pray first. After they agreed, I closed my eyes and prayed a simple prayer, commanding the demon to live in Jesus' name. After the prayer, I, I immediately took my leave and they were all surprised. Some weeks later, I was passing through the town where we held the crusade and decided to stop by to visit a friend. On getting to his house, I met the boy that was demon possessed. Before then, he could not go near fire because the demon would push him into the fire. However, to prove to me that he was now free, he cooked me a meal. No matter the level of the anointing you are operating now, there is a higher level that you must aim to attain. 
It is good that you can pray to raise the dead, but it will be better if you can wave your hands towards a handkerchief and then that handkerchief is used to raise the dead. To attain greater degrees of the anointing, do what Jesus said in our Bible reading for today. Fast and pray often. The more you fast and pray, the higher your ranking will be in the spirit realm and the more anointed you will become. Key point. The level of the anointing you will operate in will be determined by how often you fast and pray. Bible reading in one year. Psalm 62 to 68. Him for today. All hail the power of Jesus' name. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.